All right, let's look at our next system of equations. We have 5y is equal to x minus 9, and I'll be doing all of that work in blue. And we have 4x is equal to 10y, I mean minus 10y is equal to 18, and we'll be doing that in pink. The first thing we need to do is we need to solve for y. So we're going to need to rearrange these equations in order to solve for y before we can compare our slopes and y-intercepts. So we'll do the first one. 5y is equal to x minus 9. We want to get x by itself. Right now we're multiplying y by 5. So we need to do the opposite. So we're going to divide everything by 5. These 5's cancel. We get y is equal to negative, a positive, sorry, we get y is equal to a positive x, one-fifths x, minus 9 over 5. You want to make sure that your fractions are in the most simple format. So this is 1. Switch our pen and we'll work out 4x minus 10y is equal to 18. We need to get y by itself. So let's first get rid of this x. We have a positive x. If we have a positive x, the opposite is subtraction or a negative x. So we're going to subtract 4x from both sides. 4x minus 4x gets rid of it on that side. So we get 10y is equal to a negative 4x plus 18. Now we're multiplying y by a negative 10. So the opposite of multiplication is going to be division. So we're going to divide everything by a negative 10. Negative 10 divided by negative 10 gets that out of the way. We get y is equal to negative 4 divided by a negative 10. The first thing we're going to do is a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So we have 410x. Then we have 18 divided by 10. A positive divided by a negative gives us a negative, 18 over 10. Now, I know I can simplify these, so the last part we're going to do is simplify. So I know that 2 can go into both 4 and 10, so 2 goes into 4 2 times, 2 goes into 10 5 times, and over here, same thing, we'll use our divisions of 2. 2 goes into 18 9 times, and 2 goes into 10 five times. So these are our two equations. We have to get them into the y format before we can start comparing them. Now we're going to be comparing our slopes. Are our slopes the same? No. We have different slopes. So going back to our rules, when we have different slopes, we have one solution. This will be as if one over 5x minus 9 fifths is this way. And then we have our other one, which may look like this. I'm not drawing these to scale, but to say that the point in an xy format would be our one solution. So this is another example of one solution.